Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief of IDW Publishing and longtime Transformers writer. This summer, the Transformers' greatest villain, Unicron, is eating his way through space, and he's got his appetite set toward Earth, something like that, and Cybertron. Uh, this, is, uh, this is in Transformers Unicron number one, and this is one of the most exciting things I've ever got to do as a writer. You see, I've been writing Transformers comics for about eight years now, and it's all led to this. It's pretty rare to get to tell the final chapter of a story in comics. Now, don't get me wrong, IDW will still be doing Transformers comics after Unicron, but this universe, the one that we started way back in uh, 2005 with, uh, with this, with Transformers infiltr Infiltration, that ends with, with this series that I'm holding the wrong way, with this series, Transformers Unicron. If you've been a fan of Transformers in any form, from the toys, to the cartoons, to the movies, to the comics, you might want to give this a shot. See, the, the world's about to end, and this is where we really get to see what Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, RC, Starscream, all your favorite Transformers, what they're really made out of, which is metal. We know it's metal, but you know more than that, beyond that, what they're made out of. And also, what is Unicron? What's he got against Cybertron? And more importantly, is there any way to stop him? There's action, destruction, loss, tragedy, but also heroism and joy and laughter and hope. Uh, artist extraordinaire Alex Milne, who's, who's been my collaborator in the series, along with colorist Sebastian Chang, letterer Tom Long, and a bunch of uh, secret special guests, they've all given their all to bring you this, Transformers Unicron, and I hope you're there uh, to help light the Transformers' darkest hour. <laughs>